Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here. Welcome back to more of Tears of the Kingdom. Last time, we made our way up to the Akala Ancient Lab up here and rid the Yiga Clan of that lab. And now we're going to head over to this fountain you're seeing in the distance. I'll get this and actually, while I've got a moment, let me get a little bit of air here. This is exactly where I want to be. So, this is not where this was in the in uh, Breath of the Wild, but this is something of important note if you're somebody who likes horses. Do you like horses, children? I like how you call it children, but I think most of you that are watching are barely any younger than me. Someone give it to me. Even one will do. Someone please feed me and do it a cat. Here, I got one for you. Oh, what's a kind soul? Uh, little grabby much, are we? Delicious. Oh. Well, there are no. Oh, hi, Maylene. How are you, Melana? Melania. <laughs> My bad. Oh, it's a part of song. Has this always been the case? I love this! I, did, I don't think I ever took note of the, her music. Oh, it was you, wasn't it? You're the one who gave me that indoor care for so long. My stomach has been torturously empty. Thanks to you, I ate, I at last had the energy to emerge from my bud. You are my thanks. My name is Melania. I am the god who watches over the horses of this world. Grateful as I am that you fed me my first meal in so long, my appetite still is not satisfied. What shall I do? Shall I eat you? No, oh, I just... You do not look appetizing. Thanks for telling me I made a bone. I appreciate it. Another dirty cat ought to do. In exchange, I got your wishes. Yes, I can revive loyal steeds that have been died or enhance horses built. What? Wait, what? But if you can want me to use my powers, bring adequate compensation. Bring food. I don't just want any food either. Yes, the dirty carrot you gave me was tasty enough. But you don't. You don't. You only eat carrots. You don't only eat carrots. Your food is better, isn't it? I want some of those. What are some of these called? Meals. Bring me some of those. Okay, understood. The god of horses cannot survive on an empty stomach. Generation after generation has repeated that saying. That means I will... That if you want me to enhance or revive a virtuous steed, you must give me food. Now then, what brings you here? Uh... Uh... Oh. So I can't increase any of these. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't know how the upgrading works, I'll be honest. I don't know how the upgrading works in, in the, for this, but I didn't know you could upgrade things. But yeah. Later. So yeah, if if any of your horses ever die, or you or you get a, or you capture capture, I like how we capture. You acquire a horse, it will feel like it's lacking something. Come talk to Melania. But yeah, Melania is chilling up here now. And I suppose now that I've uh now that I've located her, I can get rid of the stamp. But yeah, Melania Spring. It's up here now. It used to be uh somewhere also in the I wanna say it was also somewhere out here, out east. Although it was a little further south. There's a there's some mountain range. Maybe it was closer inland. It's like there's some like little hill mountain range that you did a race like you did a minigame race against a guy on foot and however how however good your time was, you got a root reward from it in Breath of the Wild. It was like somewhere out here in this rough area. But I guess Melania picked up her bud and moved up here. Which I mean, thanks to Tears of the Kingdom, we know that the horse gods can move their buds. It's weird. Listen, it's weird. Don't question, it's weird. Oh, the shrine's underground. Okay, let's go around this marking. Or did I? Okay. Once we warp back up, once we warp back up top, I think I know what I where I messed up. I think I know where I messed up because I think I set that marker down in the past. Remind this is still the same recording session where I said where I've said I haven't played this game in like three months. Same recording session, by the way. I think I set that marker so long ago. As a, hey, dummy, you're going to need to come here 
to see. Yeah, that's what it is. There's nothing out here underground. So, the let's. And I guess at this point, at this point we're gonna head up there, which is gonna be easier to like go underground to get there. Might be easier to go underground to get there. Yeah. So let me let me do this let me do this for you to save you some money. I'm gonna go through the cave again that we that we just went through either last episode or just a little bit ago, whatever timing it is. Let me go through that cave, get up underneath the labyrinth, and then we'll approach the labyrinth together. Cause I think this is probably one of the better ways to get inside the labyrinth here in question. Yeah, all right. This is probably about good enough time to come back in. So yeah, we've we've been here once before. But as soon as I went up through this, I immediately jumped off to hit the bubble frog. And then I decided, now let's go back and get to the ancient lab, which... I don't like how much gloom there's here, by the way. I want to say there's gloom hands nearby in this area, which we may have a surprise gloom hand fight. I felt... I see something. Okay, what is my plan of escape? Because I don't want to fight a gloom. I don't want to fight a fan. Uh, sh fan again right now. That's my escape plan. You did see a hole there, and we'll address that hole in due time. But we need to actually go through. Oh, butts. Hopefully, they won't follow me up here. The music did stop, so I. Oh wait, no, 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 no. There we go. Yeah, the music did stop, so I think we're safe up here. But, um... Oh, oh boy. Well, I'd like to have those fleet flow of seats, please. But yeah, this particular shrine, like we've... Or, not shrine, this particular labyrinth has changed appearance quite a bit since the last time we were here. Now it's like... It is now a mostly flooded shrine. Or, excuse me, labyrinth. But, getting through these labyrinths are a little bit easier this time around. Thanks to, well, you can see them scattered throughout the area, and that's what that's what we're going to use. And we'll read a note over here that will help with that. Grab some free ice fruits and arrows, and read a dialogue. It took us two days to reach this isolated island. Though the ruins stood before us, we were too exhausted to explore. Though weary, Taro was able to decipher the zone I writing on the stone slab. The dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth steps. Wake it, and ye shall receive due compensation. While this translation provide me with renewed vigor, Taro shortly thereafter fell ill with fatigue. After seeing him off, off on his way home, I, I swore to tackle the ruins myself. Acorns and nuts I have prepared to mark my path should see to it that I do not get lost inside. Though I am alone, I need to work hard enough to perform both Taro and myself. So yeah, you can see there's a shrine here. And I'll tell you, this is like... When it comes to overall complete like when it, I'm gonna stop and talk about this just so I lose the thought when it comes to quote-unquote overall completion of these labyrinths this time around you're basically aiming for three points of completion and this and this points of completion uh, dictate uh, basically pairs to the rest of the game which sucks because that means I may have to do something I don't I wanted to do I, I want to do out of I have to do something out of order but I may still do that anyway. so there's, like I said, there's three parts to this. Uh, to the labyrinths, what you need to do is, usually, you need to approach it at ground level, which is what, what we're at right now, and get to the shrine that's in ground level. Once we're done at ground level, the game will say, okay, well, it'll say it more eloquently, but it'll say, hey, fam, go up. Yeah, the labyrinths just kind of lost their hat, so to say. So we'll have to use some finagling with our everything to get over there which it won't be that bad because I think that's a skyline just over there somewhere which they usually give you some way to get up there and then once you clear the hat they'll be like all right cool hey there's a little bit more down below and then you go into the depths but anyway these acorns and whatnot that's supposed to be our markings to say to help us get through here so we don't have to explore the labyrinth like we did in uh in breath of the wild Tears of the Kingdom, it, it blatantly spells out the most direct direct path to get through this place. Now, keep in mind, you can you can divert and go off on, on additional paths here if you wish. Nothing's stopping you. And even then, if you explore at your own leisure, I like I can't even, I can't say leisure properly. 
If you do explore at your own leisure, leisure, whatever you want to say it, I give up. If you do explore at your own le uh, leisure, you can actually get um, some additional treasures. But I want to exploit things a little bit, and exploiting this these labyrinths in Breath of the Wild was not really a thing unless you came at it from like way up high off site. But in this game, there's uh, you know there's a send, so we can just say nah, I don't want to do it. Now I gotta remember because we're again we're aiming to get in there, and the way to get inside of the middle is not cut uh, cut and dry stone. Also the stuff like any treasures that are in here, I'll tell you right now. It's going to be like, basically just going to be like, weapons. That's really all it is. And there might be a fight or two here, so I'm trying to think. There is one path. There is one path into the center here. Or there is one... Hmm. There is one walkway that leads direct... Oh, there it is. There's one walkway that leads directly into the, into the center, and here it is. Again, you can follow the acorns and deviate and get some extra treasures you want, but you're mainly looking for these lights here that will lead to a ladder. Now, let's see. Throw some fire. This will lead to another treasure, but we're going to do it. But also, we're inside, so don't worry about, like... Don't worry about getting struck by lightning or climbing a slippery surface or anything like that. It's... We're inside. It's fine. Uh... Brain short circuiting, please hold. Okay, brain is done short circuiting. You can stop holding. But yeah, we're inside, so we can climb walls without issue now. Now I don't remember if this is just the way in or if there was. Oh no, it's ooh no ooh ooh. Okay, it's just for a weapon. Well, still worth it to show you where, an, where a free Zonite weapon is, which, reminder, Zonite stuff attached to Zonite stuff makes it, makes it extra strong, so. But we're after the shrine in the middle of the labyrinth. And then I may do a little bit of monkeying about to see if we, uh, in the sky, which I am holding off on doing stuff in the sky for as long as possible, but we may, uh, forego that a little bit just to get up there. Anyway. Hello! I made my way inside. Oh, for you who conquered this labyrinth for the land, I, the ruler of dragons, have unlocked a door. Find us on the south side of the labyrinth to the sky. Or of the sky, rather. So yeah, you need to do this part to get access to the sky part, so then you can get access to the floor part. But we're here to do a shrine. And a shrine we shall be doing. There's also shrines up in the sky too, which is kind of what we're what I'm leading to, and why I don't want to do the sky right now because I want to, I'm saving the sky for last. I'm pretty sure I've said. Oh, never mind. It's just it's a freebie. I like freebies. Wait, no, it is a freebie. All right, freebie. What is my freebie reward? Something, something I will never use because I have two full rows of battery. If I ever have to use that, I have been driving for far too long. I may actually use it up in the sky. Actually, it does prepare you. Wow. Look at that. Amazing what happens when you stop complaining about something and think about it logically for half a minute and go, No, there's something to this. Kind of had a moment to like recollect my thoughts after that try was on. So, let me go up here. Am I? No, I'm not too far south. Okay, I had to... <laughs> Brain's frying. So... I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to see if... Uh, either this island here, roughly, or these islands over here, if they're going to have some contraptions. Because we're, we're going to that sky area, that labyrinth, right now. Uh, I cannot tell the existence of contraptions. I can't over there. Okay, good. It's not too cold up here. That's the only thing I don't like about some of these Sky Arch Archipelago stuff is like sometimes it's too cold to function. Now... Okay, you just have a treasure. We'll leave you, we'll leave you be. 
Hopefully, just over here, what you're guarding is a device. Perfect. This is not the best device, but this is all we're going to need to get elsewhere. So, I could stick other batteries on it, but I'm not too worried. Actually, I know what device you have on you. I'm definitely going to leave you be for later. I'm going to leave all this for later. We're going to try and go straight. Which way is it? Hold on. <laughs> north. Okay, north. There. Yes, I need that pregnant pause because I'm stupid and need, uh, need the help. So we're just going to go over that way. We have liftoff. We have liftoff. So all the flying devices in this game, like something that can be considered a flying device, it does not have to be eloquent at all. None of this has to be eloquent. Uh, actually, maybe I should go over to these. Because I don't know if this will... I don't know if this device will be able to reach... Uh, I don't know if this device will be able to reach all that over there, especially if it starts to fade away. Let me get a little bit of height here just to be safe. Oh, good. An Aracuda, my favorite. Good job. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try and get over to this platform over here just to be safe in case this starts blipping out before I fly again. Because I do need to get up there. Now this is going to suck. This is royally going to suck because I basically have to do... Well, it'll respawn these parts, so that's not that bad. It's going to suck having to do this again when I focus on Sky Islands. But who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and I won't have to worry about this. Ah, perfect. That is my noble steed right there. We're just going to fly our butts over here. I'm going to jump off. And you can go away. I just collide with the, I just collide with the seagull. Now then. Let me up here. So as I said, this will be our noble steed. It's not very eloquent looking, I'm well aware. But this shall be our noble steed. It's a little... It's just because it's a little... It floats a little bit better. Now, I should only need, like, I don't need a whole lot of uh, push, so to say. I don't need a whole lot of push. That is on their sideways, I feel like. But yeah, I don't need a whole lot of push to make this work. I just need it to... I just need it, I just need it to, to give me the way forward. Go. Okay, uh, this corner. Okay, that one is gonna make a problem. No, no, no. Don't grab the actual platform. Grab the, grab the fan. Why'd you sink like a rock? And then I need you. And we're just gonna stick you in the middle. And, once again, we're on the road. Uh, I can hear it grinding. But yeah, this floating pat platform will work best. And I think we can even, like, lower it down a little bit. But yeah, we're heading right over there for that. So, I think I mentioned this a little bit, but when doing Sky Islands... Well, I'll visit... I'll talk about this a bit more when we're doing Sky Islands again proper. But a lot of times, if you're trying to go from Sky Island to Sky Island, a lot of times they will give you the tools you'll need to traverse the very open landscape. As you can see, we have a floating platform that I've attached two fans to that I got from our last excursion to get here. Great! Well, let's hope it's enough. <laughs> I just gotta hope it's enough and hope I have enough stamina to get there. If not, uh, I guess he has to do a big old cut while he re-wrangles his parts to get all the way back up here. That's right, it might be me, because I'm looking at my stamina drain. Well, I do have a lot of stamina, so maybe it's not that bad. I just gotta hope that an Aracuda doesn't take notice of me and decide that it's time to start bullying me. 
That is the only downside, though. Like, uh, I have said, I think it applies to, not really so much to land-based vehicles, but a lot of sky-based vehicles. That's the problem with them a lot, is it has this thing where, like, if you are, if you use it to traverse the sky, it has, like, a, it sets an invisible wall from your takeoff point. It's just like, hey, this is the point of no further progress, my friend. Okay, it looks like we have enough stamina. Now, I want you to make note of the fact I have two stamina rings when I did this. Oh, thank goodness this happened. I wanted to make make sure you make note of the fact I had two stamina rings when I started this. If you have just one, not some not gonna happen. But anyway, I'm doing this shrine. Even though this is really out of order, I'm doing this shrine. I'm gonna do it. The uh the, the shrines that are up here in the sky. This is the first time it's gonna happen, so I'll mention it now. We'll probably mention it again when we do the sky stuff proper when I'm right prepared for it. The shrine the shrines that are in the sky have zero correlation to the shrines that are in the depths. Or to the light roots in the depths. But because the islands in the sky are so far spread out, that basically if you go to a set of islands, you will find a shrine in that grouping of islands at some point. Now while I'm thinking of it, uh, while we're up here, uh, I am going to put a pin here. And this is something we're going to have to handle much later on, when we have better tools and more stamina. <sighs> yeah, uh, where did I land, by the way? Uh, here. This is also something we're going to have to handle. I'm making notes of stuff at this point, which is a little late. But anyway, I don't think we've had this happen yet. But you probably have seen the trailers for this game. This, all this blue stuff in the air that looks so weird. This is supposed to be your notification that you have reduced gravity. We get to have fun with reduced gravity for a while. Now, two vehicles. I don't know where the treasure chest is here, but we're basically going to be driving around this track. We're going to drive. There's a track here that we're driving around, and the low gravity with a couple with this is going to let us do some sick jumps. Get, do you have Do you have a favorite 64-bit uh, era game? Because this is effectively. What we're pl doing is playing your favorite 64-bit era racing game with floaty, floaty, floaty jumps. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I'm looking out because there's going to be at least one treasure chest out here somewhere. We have. There's going to be at least one treasure chest somewhere out here on this track, and I don't know where. Yeehaw! Definitely not down there. I am being shot at. Ah, it's over there. Wait, don't we use the... Okay, but now, though... Just... Run it over. And... Ramming speed! That worked enough. I'll move the car... I'll move the car aside just a second so I can get it... So I can drive through here. I'm pretty sure that's the only treasure chest. Yeah, this is this is a cool thing just because it, it takes advantage of the fact that there's reduced gravity. This is a load of barnacles. Oh, wrong side. Uh, drop. And now that we're done there, yep. Okay, I'll try to chest. Let's go. Camera, rewrite me. Camera, you did not rewrite me. But there we go. Now we have that all handled. We. But unfortunately, this last leg, we're not going to have enough speed. <sighs> me first, though. I'm not sure why it took so long to shoot, but me first. So we don't have enough, uh, these, this, we don't have enough push, and I think the vehicle, I think that vehicle is a little too big for this, and this one is definitely pre designed a certain way, but we need a little bit more of a oomph, as you say, as you could say. But we also have to be kind of careful with these rockets, because much like with the minecart and the, uh, and the, uh, well, we, I mean, we had problems in the fire temple, too. Hello? Why are you not attaching at the right spot now? Hello? You're going to give me an aneurysm, aren't you? But yeah, much like with the... Much like with uh, one minecart jump in 
in the fire temple, we have to have these uh, in sequential order. Otherwise, we're going to go careening off the side. So I'm going to aim to the right a little bit because I don't think they're properly on there. I guess it was a, I guess I had a little more leeway for error on that. I guess I'm just scarred by the fire temple. And that puts us at three. There's one more. There's one more of the shrine down on the ground level. I don't think I'm going to handle that in this recording session. But next shrine we complete, we can get ourselves another heart. Which is definitely something I'm going to be aiming for. But we'll handle the remaining parts of this labyrinth next time. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you then. Take care.